Stay up to date with what's going on at D&D Sports on all the following social medias. Hey D&D Sports fans, and today we're going to be working on a custom order. As you can see what I got in front of us, I have a yellow TRX4 Defender, I got a set of tracks, I got a tactical body, a couple, a set of tactical wheels, and um, BEC, metal servo horn, a high torque metal gear servo from Traxxas. We are going to turn this uh, TRX4 Defender into uh, tactical with the track kit. All right, guys, so to start this build off, I had to get a, a TRX4 with the long chassis kit. If you remember, uh, Traxxas does make two lengths of the chassis for the TRX4, and the Defender and the Tactical were the long chassis, and then they made a shorter chassis when they went to the Bronco and the Blazer and the Sport. All right, guys, so when I figured out the build total for this, uh, it included replacing the body, the Defender body, with the uh, Tactical body, and also replacing the Defender wheels with the Tactical wheels. Now, the customer doesn't want the wheels on it, they want the tracks, but they do want me to include an extra set of wheels just in case they want to switch them out. All right, first thing we're going to do is remove the wheels and tires. With the wheels and tires removed, we're now going to open up the receiver box, disconnect the uh, servo. We're going to install the uh, high torque uh, metal gear servo from Traxxas. Uh, the tracks, they weigh a lot. There's a lot of uh, surface area to turn, so we need to uh, upgrade that servo so the customer doesn't have any problems with it. All right, now that we have the receiver box cover off, we're gonna locate the wire for the steering servo. We're gonna unplug that, and while we are in here, we're also gonna install part number 2262, which is the BEC, so we can power that big servo. All right, I have the servo wire disconnected. I have the battery tray, uh, the two screws removed, tilted backwards so that we can run the power cord over to the speed controller for the new BEC. With Traxxas part number 2262, you'll get the uh, BEC. You also get a new raised cover, a couple seals, uh, a splitter wire, some uh, silicone, to put around your new seal. Next thing I did is I unplugged the speed controller out of channel two, plugged the speed controller into the BEC, and then took the BEC and plugged it into the channel two slot where I removed the speed controller. While you have the cover off, we're going to want to uh, replace that servo and get that new wire ran into the box. The easiest way to access the servo is to remove the body mount. You'll want to remove the two screws out of the back and then that will pull straight up. Once you're able to remove the body mount, there are four screws that you're going to want to take out to loosen up the servo. With the four screws removed, you're going to want to flip your truck over, locate the small screw that is holding the steering arm onto the servo, and you're going to want to remove that screw. With the servo removed from the truck, we are now going to install the high torque metal gear servo from Traxxas. And don't forget, you're going to need that small screw that's holding on the servo horn. The new servo horn is a metal servo horn, which is part number 8249X. With 
the new servo installed, you'll want to connect your steering arm back to your servo and install the four screws that hold the servo to the chassis. With the new servo installed, we're going to put the covers back on the receiver box. You're going to want to make sure you use a healthy dose of the silicone grease just to keep the water out of that receiver box. With the new receiver, you have a second cover, so you're going to want to again uh, put a healthy dose of that silicone on. And the last thing we have to do with the receiver box is make sure we tighten down the two screws on the bottom that we loosened up. And one of the last things we have to do the chassis is secure the battery tray back down. Just be cautious, we did run wires underneath there, you want to make sure they're not getting pinched. Alright, we reinstalled the body mount. Cleaned up all the wiring, ran the power wire over to the speed controller, connected it to the red auxiliary port you see there. And the last thing we're going to do is install the TRX4 tracks. You will note that each one of the tracks is marked on the inside for the location that it goes on the truck. To install the suspension for the tracks, you're going to want to remove two screws from the inner portal covers and install the brace. When you put on the brace, you're going to listen for the distinct snapping sound. So what I did to the front, I turned around and did to the back, got the chassis all set up with the tracks, just now time to install the body and make sure everything works. After making minor adjustments to the body post the trx4 defender with tracks is complete i hope you enjoyed this quick video on how to uh, turn your trx4 defender into a trx4 tactical with tracks if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel click that subscribe button turn that little bell on so you get notified anytime we release a new video over here at dnd sports thanks for watching